<laughs> hey friends, it's Brian again. Do you have a relationship with somebody? I mean, a husband, wife, girlfriend, boyfriend, somebody you're close to, and you get in a big fight, but you don't quite cross the line because you know you're going to get back together again. I have a relationship like that, and I'm in one of those fights right now. It's just not an actual person. What am I talking about? Let's find out. So, a couple weeks ago in early May, Menards, my favorite home improvement store, one of my favorite stores ever, they started requiring the customers to wear masks in the store. I've not been there since then because I won't do that. In my opinion, it's ridiculous. If you want to wear a mask in the store, that's fine, but forcing everybody to wear a mask in a warehouse where we're all supposed to be six feet apart anyway, I don't know if it makes a lot of sense, unless you want to wear one, of course. And it's a private business, so they can make that rule if they want, and I can choose to go somewhere else. For example, I've been going to Home Depot way more than I normally would. I usually go nine out of 10 times, I go to Menards. I can just hear all you Corona Karens out there right now, but Bry, but Bry, the virus, whatever. I will admit there's a few places where it makes sense if I'm gonna go to a doctor's office for a visit. Uh, another place that makes sense is on an airplane. I just booked some airplane tickets to Florida and I know what it says right on there, I'm gonna have to wear a mask, but that is completely different. That's a closed air situation where we're all awfully close together for three hours so that makes sense if you're performing surgery it makes sense well, hold on let me check my calendar I don't have any surgeries today at all but okay here's the rub we ordered something weeks ago so the situation is we pre-ordered this mattress over two weeks ago before the policy and I have to pick it up and I have to go in the store. So what is my solution? Well, I thought if I could have a little fun with it, then I can go on Menards. Let's start the fashion show, shall we? <laughs> I like this one. I don't know if you can hear what I'm saying, but what do you think about this? Fashion show entry number two. I'm such a smart ass. I mean, it's not even funny. Okay. How about now? Happy Halloween, m****. Hey friends, what do you think of this? Huh? Is this over the top enough? Hey man, go big or go home. Wish me luck. I'm a little worried I'm not gonna make it out of this store alive. <laughs> so, I was gonna get a bunch of extra things while I was here, but man, I don't know if I can stand being in this place any longer than I have to be do it so one of the things we're picking up today is this uh, this decorative wall planks we're gonna put this up as uh, an accent in one of our bedroom walls I think it's gonna look pretty good what do you think yeah right <laughs> I know it's gonna be awesome oh boy I have no oh no that's not oh gosh I don't know where I'm going we, we got this we got it hold on Uh-oh, busted holding the camera. All right, we got a long haul. Insert the quirky music right now. One more thing. Oh, there we are. That's us. I'm obeying the policy of keep one mattress worth of distance between you and the other person. It's only common sense. That was a little bit of an adventure. Got a few good looks. I'm surprised, uh oh, surprised I didn't get more looks. Ugh. I'm surprised I didn't get more looks than I did, but I just barely got in with it without getting busted. Let's see. Anyway, I have no idea when I'm gonna get back to Menards. What a bunch of BS. Bye Menards.
Don't know when I'm going to see you again. And that, my friends, is the last time I'm going to Menards for this foreseeable future. I don't know when I'm going to get back to this place. I love this store. There's a lot of things I can't get at the other stores, but tough it. Tough it out, man. Who cares? Anyway, if I didn't scare you all away with my hard-ass stand on this little policy at a private business, then uh, hey, consider subscribing. Maybe like the video and maybe throw me a comment. Even if you're a coronavirus Karen and you know who you are, maybe if you're ticked off at me, please, I want to hear about it in the comments. So don't forget to subscribe. Even if I tick you off to high heaven, subscribe. You know you like being excited on the internet. You're still watching. Anyway, I'll see y'all later. Bye.